Now, if I were to ask you to redesign this simple layout using Divi, here's what you're probably going to do. You would come over here and add a brand new section like that, add a single column, and then in here you would add an image like that, and then you would just place your image. So I am going to use the same images as I have in my library. Okay, so that's my first image. And then the next step, you would add another row. So you'd click over here, add two columns. And in the first one, you would add an image like that. And this is the image you would use. And then finally, over here on the right, you would add some text. So let's go ahead and do that. So here is my text module and select it. Okay, pretty cool. So at this stage, you're probably saying, okay, that looks similar to what I've done here on top. Now, what if I told you that this layout here on top was not designed using that way? I used Flexbox in Divi. Now, the cool thing is I've created a really, really cool resource. And this is the link. So if you come over here to diviuniversity.com forward slash Flexbox, here are all the commands. All you have to do is to click to copy. And that's pretty much it. You'd go in and then you would uh, enter the code. So let's recreate this layout so I can show you exactly what this looks like. But before I do that, let me just show you that doing it the second way, or in fact, this way that I've just done is not ideal. And here's why. If I were to come back here to my wireframe view, notice that my layout here on the top only has two images and the text module in one row. Do you see that? And then over here on the bottom, we have this row with one image. We have another row with an image and text. This is extra code being added onto your page. So I really want you to think about Flexbox as you're designing your website. Now at first, it's going to look a bit daunting, but when you practice, you are going to realize that this is the best way of designing. Now, before we get started, before I can show you how I managed to do this, if you uh, purchase Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my uh, Divi Jumpstart course, a course that will teach you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And also I have a free course, link to that is in the video description below. Let's get started and let's design this. All right, so what we're gonna do now is delete what we have here on the top. In fact, let's delete both of them, okay? Because we don't really need that. All right, so what we need is to create one column just like that. And then in here, we're going to add two images. So I'm gonna search for my image module like that. And let's add our image. So let's start with that one. And I'm just gonna duplicate this because we are going to need two images here. Right, so on this one here, we're just gonna change the image into a different one. So let's go with that one there. Upload image, save. Finally, we're going to need a text, mo uh, text module. Now notice that all I'm doing here is adding DV modules, okay? So let's go ahead, text. Right, I'm just gonna do a few changes here. I'm just gonna uh, have this as a heading so that this looks, you know, a bit nicer, okay? There we go. So now that we have these three items in a single uh, column, this is where now we can go in and target that particular column, which is this one right here. I'm gonna go in here, go to advanced, custom CSS. Now this is where all the magic is going to happen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to copy this code here called display flex. Now that's very important. You're going to use that every single time you want to use Flexbox. So if I do that, notice what happens. Everything now is in a line. And this is where the flexibility of uh, Flexbox comes in. So you are now deciding which image needs to be bigger or smaller based on percentages. And I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, so now that these are all in the same line, what we're going to need is a command called flex wrap, okay? So what we're doing is we're wrapping everything within a specific confinement like that, okay? So let's go ahead and add the code. There we go. So now everything is pretty much back to how it was before, but that's not the case because I can individually go into each and every item here and give it a specific size. So I'm gonna save this for now. So let's start with the first one here. So this one, I want this to fit in the whole width. So we're going to give this a width of 50%. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing, 
So on the width here, I'm going to say, uh, sorry, 100%. What am I talking about? Okay, so let's give this 100% and save. Now the next one here, let's give this 45%. So I'm going to go in, design, sizing, and then over here, 45%. And I'll, and I'll tell you why I'm going to uh, give this 45%. All right, so we are almost there. So the text also needs to take up 45%. So I'm gonna save that, come over here to the text, design, sizing, and again, 45%. There we go. So everything is pretty much in place and this is without using any extra columns. Look at that, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code. And again, all we have is one row and these are three modules in just this one row. Let's go ahead and save this. So you're probably thinking, what does this look like uh, in mobile view? Well, let's take a look. If I go into mobile view, you can see now everything is pretty much laid out correctly. But we have a really cool advantage when we use Flexbox. So let's say I want the text on the bottom to be on the top in this view. So what we do now is we go back like that. We go into our column, advanced, custom CSS. All right, so here's what we do. The code we're going to need here is uh, column reverse. So uh, row reverse, column reverse, this one here. I'm gonna copy that and then I'm gonna paste it Look at that. So now my text is right at the top and it's just using my column reverse. It just reverses everything like that. Now I can see here, I need some gaps, you know, between my content here. Well, that's very easy to fix. We can either do it here or we can go to this individual uh, module and add uh, the size there. So what I normally do is I will just come all the way down here, column gap, copy, and back over here, we just paste it like that. So this is going to give us spacing on everything. So let's just go with 20. Look at that. So now everything is laid out uh, correctly. So this code here, I'm just gonna copy it. And now let's go to our phone view. And that looks fine anyway. So there's no need for me to go in and paste it, okay? So that's pretty cool. So back over here, we just need to make sure that we remove the direction if we don't need it on this view and save like that. Okay, so back now on our view, that's what, it's look like, that's what it looks like. So this is a very, very easy way to uh, start using Flexbox. So there you have it. This is Flexbox in Divi. Go ahead, try it out. I'll leave a link to uh, all of that again in the video description below. Till next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.